Papa Ken Media. Hello everyone, Papa Ken here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Papa Ken Plays. In fact, today is going to be, finally, the second episode or the second part of me playing Doctor Who Flash Games. Now, um, today I decided to go on a bit of a different direction. Rather than playing official Doctor Who games, I decided to go to Newgrounds and other websites and just try out some fan games that people have made just to see what kind of quality is out there, and <laughs> let me tell you, there's not much out there, unfortunately, at least not that I've found so far. But let's get right into it, and uh, oh, just so you know, full disclosure, I did not play these games, or I, I was not able to record the audio while playing these games at the same time, so I'm going to be commentating over it while the video plays. So, let's begin. Now, the first one we have here is called Doctor Who X, and um, it is clearly a uh, Space Invaders clone, and that's really all that can be said about it, except for the fact that not only are you going up against Daleks and the Silence, which for some reason are surrounded by blue webbing, but also canine clones. Yes. We're shooting and destroying canine clones. Why are we doing that? I don't know. Apparently, apparently the creator NXT 101 thought that was a good idea. Oh, and there I was. I hit the trigger too late. And unfortunately in this game, you can only shoot one bullet at a time. So you have to wait till it goes all the way off screen before you can shoot again. And if you miss your target, then too friggin' bad. Oh, and that time I actually did catch that silence from running away. I have no idea why it does that. I can only assume it's some sort of glitch. <clears throat> but, uh, what can be said about this game? Well, it literally has two sound effects. The laser beam and the boom when you shoot something. That's it. No music, no anything. There was no title screen to this, in fact. It just loads up to this. It's on Newgrounds. If you want to check it out, Fine. That's great. But this version only has that one level. And if you would want to play it again for some reason, you have to refresh. And Newgrounds takes forever because of all the ads. But we do have version 2.0, or as it's just called here, Doctor Who X, Revenge of the Time Lord. So it actually has a title screen for once. And we load up to this, um, you know small number of enemies, significantly fewer than the original version. Oh, yeah, just so you know, the title of it is Doctor Who X 2.0. And, uh, well, <laughs> even though it had fewer enemies, I kind of goofed because I neglected the fact that you can only shoot one bullet at a time, and they cut, they cut off, like, as they reach those hills in the background. I don't know why they cut off that soon. Like, in the original Space Invaders, you don't lose until they basically touch your ship, or touch the building, or touch the ground, I mean. But this time I got smart and just stood in one place and kept shooting, because unlike actual Space Invaders, which gets faster as there are fewer enemies, the fastness depends on how low they are. Oh, and look at this. I was thinking, oh, wait a minute, there's only, you know, I'm frozen again. What is this? So, just out of sheer curiosity, I click the screen, and there we go. We have the second stage. So, there are actually multiple stages to this. Um, the character, <laughs> the enemies get much faster, much quicker. That's really all that can be said about this, except for one little fact. The TARDIS, which it just kind of dawned on me that the TARDIS is shooting laser beams, which is bizarre. But the TARDIS is slightly off the ground in the second level, which I don't know why. I don't know if, like, each round we get a little bit higher off the ground, if that's part of the theme or something. I honestly don't know. I, I don't know if it's higher off the ground in the next stage, because there is a next stage. Kind of. <laughs> it's a little bit farther off the ground. I don't... I, I can't re fully recall. And there I am, shooting and killing more canines. I'm so sorry, canine. I can only assume you were taken control of by the Daleks. And then cloned multiple times. But, yeah. Uh, very basic. I mean, it's definitely a step up from the guy's first version of the game. 
but still. On here we are, the third stage, which I say so sarcastically and with air quotes. I was not able to find a way to actually do anything on this level other than shoot the big Borg cube, which is basically, a, or is that like a Cyberman space station? I can't remember. But, it, yeah, you can't do anything. You literally can't do anything. The only thing you can actually get close enough to shoot is that big block. And whether you shoot it or not, everything goes down so fast, you can't do anything. So I gave it a shot, and I clicked, and yes, in fact, it does take you to the end screen. You don't even have to finish the level to go to the end screen. That's some great programming there. But that's not even the worst one. The worst one is right here. Doctor Who Projects, or as it's known on the Newgrounds page, Doctor Who Themes. Which I was thinking, oh, well, you know, maybe it's like themed games. And I'm going to have to turn down the volume on this so that I don't get a copyright strike, most likely. But yeah, while I was playing, or while I was looking at it, I was thinking, okay, maybe it's like themed mini games. That could be interesting, but then as this intro screen scrolls, it says, the new Doctor Who um, interactive... Th I, I actually can't remember what it said, but... It's... Yeah, it, did, it never dawned on me that this would be a soundboard, because it said it was a game. And it had been so long since I've really been on Newgrounds that much, I didn't realize that soundboards technically count as games. So... I gave it a click just to see, and uh, yeah, there we go. So literally all it does is play different themes, however, as I learned there, it does not stop the music that is playing on its own. No, no, you have to press the stop all sounds button for it to actually stop. How... I mean, I know that Flash is limited, but that's just ridiculous. It should, at the very least, stop playing the previous sound. Now, here we are. This is the final game I played for this, The Water of Mars. Water always wins. And uh, it's not on Newgrounds. It's on the Doctor Who site, .co.uk. Uh, I'm providing all the links to these games, should you want to try them out. And uh, you might notice there's a lot of white on the screen right now with my borders and here. Um, Luckily, that does change now that we're actually in the game. However, um... While this is more of a game than any of the others that I've played in this video so far, um... This one leaves a lot to be desired. Like, it's... It, it, it's sort of a puzzle platformer, in a way. But with a few very important flaws. Uh, first of which being, this game has two sound effects. Only two. The first of which is that, that robot saying gadget gadget, and then the use of the sonic screwdriver, which doesn't even always sound like a sonic screwdriver. It sounds like a humming. So... And there's no feedback as to you taking damage. There's no background noise. There are no other sounds in this entire game. And I just... I can't help but wonder what the person was thinking. Like, if this game is meant to be an homage or just, like, sort of a... You know, showing that you're a enjoyer of this game... Why would you not include at least some other sound effects, even if they're not Doctor Who related? Why would you not <laughs> just do that? Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention earlier. Um, apparently, if you should you want to play this game, only press up, like, tap it. Barely tap it, because if you hold on to it for more than a second, or more than a half second, at that one spot, you will teleport up twice, and you will end up right next to a gadget gadget thing, whatever it's called. Now, I'm trying to think. I think either this is the last level, or it's the next to last level. And you know, one thing I do find kind of strange about this game, um, 
Now again, Waters of Mars was a great episode. It was it's one of my favorite Doctor Who episodes. Well that time it actually sounded like a sonic screwdriver. But first of all, um you notice all that blue stuff down there? That is water. The water of Mars. Now there at once at a certain point in the episode, there's a significant amount of water. However, there is never that much. It is never being flooded where there is nothing below you. <laughs> and uh, these, I, I, I guess I kind of, like, I thought they were lasers, but I assume that they're water ducts of some sort where the water is coming out. I don't know. It's It's very basic. And, you know, I don't want to rag on the person too much because, I mean... It seems like some actual effort was put into these. Again, unlike the other games and that theme, like there, there seems to be actual effort put in here, but that doesn't make it a good game. We could have at least had like, I don't know, some sort of, some sort of music, just something to break up the monotony, footsteps. Or even whirring sounds from the robots. And here's some inconsistency. Uh, uh, earlier, the lasers were going through platforms, and now they're not. So, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I was hoping to come across a game that I would or, that I would really enjoy uh, among because I assumed I was going to run into some bad ones, but. I was really, really hoping that I would run into at least one good game. And with this being the closest one to a good game in this entire video, that's just really sad. And that is game completed. Yes, I just completely finished that game. And there's not even like a little fanfare, like nothing to indicate that you won other than game completed, restart the game. <laughs> but yeah, um... This this was honestly really disappointing. I I am going to be doing more uh, Doctor Who Flash games in the future and do actual Doctor Who games that are I've got on Steam. But I would like to know, any of you that are fans of Doctor Who, have you found Flash games that, even if they're not necessarily good, are at least playable and enjoyable? They look like they've had some actual effort put into them. Uh... Even if there's just like a weird crossover, like a, I don't know, someone took Mario Brothers and gave it a Doctor Who skin. You know, something like that would be fun and somewhat interesting. Send that information my way because I would really like to play it and use it in one of these future videos. Um, and if I find something like, something like that myself, I'll obviously play it. But, you know, I'm just one person and a lot of you all know how to find these things better than I do. But, once again, I am sorry everyone for being kind of a downer this episode. I'm just really let down that the fan games were as poor as they were, and then I guess kind of mad at myself for thinking that Doctor Who themes one was not a soundboard. <laughs> because the actual soundboards had the name soundboard in them. <sighs> but uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting angry, so I will cut that out. Everyone, thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Papa Ken Plays. Again, I will see you next time. And yes, you can look forward to me actually, I guess, creating a game in the official Doctor Who Game Creator app or whatever it is. I don't know. That, that seems like that should be pretty fun. And hopefully I can make a decent game myself. Otherwise, you know, I'll just stick my foot in my mouth because maybe there just can't be a good Doctor Who game to be made. I don't know, and that grammar was bad. But anyway, once again, everyone, have a great day, and I will see you next time on the next uh, Papa Ken Plays. Later.